Dear John, I heard you ask Daddy what I was like and where I lived. I have drawn... drawn me and my house for you. Take care of the picture. I'm just off now for Oxford with my bundle of toys, some for you. Hope I shall arrive in time. The snow is very thick at the North Pole tonight. Your loving Father Christmas. Hello and welcome to Talking Tolkien. Today's Christmas themed um, edition of Talking Tolkien is going to be looking at the Father Christmas letters, as you've probably already guessed. Now, believe it or not, it was 100 years ago today, the 22nd of December 1920, that J.R.R. Tolkien, under the guise of Father Christmas, first wrote the first ever letter from Father Christmas to his eldest son, John. And that's reproduced, as we just saw, in this wonderful new edition of the Father Christmas letters, as they were later known. Now, over the years, as his children got older, he continued to write them all the way up to the 1940s and his youngest daughter, Priscilla. Uh, later on, in 19... Uh, 1976, so three years after Tolkien's death, those letters were compiled by Bailey Tolkien, who was Christopher Tolkien's wife, and they were released in an edition, say, in 1976. There have been a few editions over the years. We looked last year, you can look at the videos, we did a, there was a deluxe edition of it released, um, which there was, there was some issues on that. I actually sent mine back, so I don't have it anymore. The stamp on the front was, was not very good. Um, previous to that, there's um, a smaller edition that you might have seen. I have had it around somewhere, but typically I can't find it at the moment. But it's about half the size of this. So for something like this, when you want them to look, you know, at details of pictures and images, it really helps to have a bigger book like this to really be able to replicate those pictures uh, in as most accurate way as possible. And this really does bring new light to, to those. So this is the book itself. We'll have a little look at it. Um, so just to tell you what the blurb on the back says, give you an idea, probably better than I can ramble on for. Um, every December, an envelope bearing a stamp from the North Pole would arrive at JR, for J.R.R. Tolkien's children. Inside would be a letter in strange spidery handwriting and a beautiful coloured drawing. They were from Father Christmas telling wonderful tales of life at the North Pole. How all the reindeer got loose and scared, uh, scattered presents all over the place. How the accident-prone North Be Polar Bear climbed the North Pole and fell through the roof of Father Christmas's house into the dining room. How there were wars with the troublesome horde of goblins who lived in the caves beneath the house. From the first note to Tolkien's eldest son in 1920 to the final poignant letter to his daughter in 1943. This new edition celebrates the centenary of that first letter with a stocking full of charming letters, pictures and decorated envelopes and is a festive feast for readers of all ages. So there's the cover, we get nice embossed. This is much better than the quality we had on that deluxe edition, which, yeah, so I wasn't too happy with that. But um, yeah, it's re really good. It's like, um, you can see there, that's like matte. And there's the back. But throughout, just the quality of images is excellent. And really, it's hard to see how this will be bettered. I know over on, um, there's a great website called Tolkien Guide, and on there they went through and checked this edition against previous editions. And through this, um, this is basically the best edition. It's got the most complete set of envelopes of letters. So if you get this, I don't, I think I'm correct in saying that you don't need to have any other editions if you really want to be a completist. I might be wrong, there might be one that slipped through, but I don't think there is. I think this is pretty much um, the, the one to get, and certainly 99.9% of, of us aren't going to notice that, if it is even there. Um, yeah, so that's this this book. What else can we say about it? So really, the, he got more creative as, as time went on, so there was always a, a picture he'd paint through it, um, but then he started to develop narratives with the polar bear, and it's quite... Uh, nice to see those play out. Obviously they were created as a family thing, they weren't really designed to be ever published, but just because of, well obviously the Tolkien names are draw, but just because of, you know, how nice they were, they're, they're nice things to have at Christmas. So that's, um, that's this book. Okay, I don't think there's anything else to, to mention on it. I'm always curious to see where they're printed actually. This one was printed 
in Italy by Rotolito. So, um, yeah, some of them were in China. So that one last year, that was printed in China, that deluxe edition. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I think HarperCollins have done a really good job this year of the editions they've released. And um, you'll see in my other video that's coming out around the same time talking about uh, the, the editions that have been released this year. And there have been some great editions. Uh, and I think for, for as far as like Tolkien collectors or fans of his work, I think this year has been um, one, one of the best that I can remember for having quality copies coming out. So hopefully that will go on into next year. I think that's all there is to say about this. I heartily recommend it. Um, RRP, £20. I'll put a link down below, down there, um, if you want to go through and find find this edition. I'll also put a link to any other um, edition still in print on there. Like I say, I wouldn't advise the deluxe edition, that slipcased one, for the money, unless you're really uh, collecting them all and want them all in a, in a row. Um, but it's up to you. Um, okay that's it so thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed it click the like button and then click subscribe um, it's yeah it's really means a lot to me and uh, i've got loads of new subscribers recently thank you to every single person who's subscribed uh, i'm enjoying doing these videos hopefully as we get out of this year we'll have some more to come merry christmas to you all and a happy new year thank you for watching talking talking <laughs>